conscious point of mind. I've been able to convince you beyond every reasonable doubt that teachers should not be allowed to smack the woman's face. Thank you. A wonderful day to you, my amazing people, and I say welcome to my channel. I'm Bobby Elo, a Nigerian YouTuber, and I invite you to join me on this trip as I travel with my students to the oil city of Wari Delta State, Nigeria, for an in the school debate. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and please, please, please watch this video to the end. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Enjoy.
2 of the Bashiro Askia Foundation Schools Debate. My name is Obes Esongoyo, and I say welcome to Bashiro Schools Debate! <laughs> yes, it's the season three, and we are ready for you this season, okay? Now, uh, this season, the winner goes home with a, a cash prize of 250,000 naira as the winning prize, the second prize, uh, 150,000 naira and the third prize is a hundred thousand naira. Are you ready? Yes. It may seem as far as our odds are against me. Being in support of a motion which a large percentage of people are struggling against, how bit? After I learned the groundwork of my standpoint, so many mindsets, opinions, and judgments on the topic of debate will be revamped. It is imperative I define some terms as they will be pivotal in my analysis of the topic. Who is a naughty child? A naughty child, according to the Macmillan Dictionary, is a child who is adamant to correction or to change. Who is a teacher? A teacher, according to the Wikipedia, is a trained, skilled, competent personnel who only does the impact on the child academically but morally. What is smacking? Smacking, according to the Oxford Advanced Learners English Dictionary, denotes hitting a person with the open hand, lightly, especially as a punishment. Note, the term smacking should not interchange with the term beating, as smacking involves using the open hand lightly, whereas beating, in most cases, involves the using the use of disciplinary tools. We're going to be looking at the topic of debate from the certain angle, a legal position, a moral standing, and a form of discipline. From a legal position, under the Nigerian law, the use of corporal punishment is legal, but it is strictly regulated. I guess so many of you are hearing this for the first time. But section 295 of the criminal code states and confirms that a blow or a force, thereby resulting to a harm, may not be justified for the purpose of correction. This is to say that even under the Nigerian constitution, the use of corporal punishment is legal. On a moral standing, smacking naughty children only became debatable in the 21st century. It is audible to the deaf and visible to the blind that this generation has thrown away morality, embraced immorality, and trampled the corn correction. It is not news that misconduct has become a reality in the school system and needs to be tackled headlock to instill discipline. As correction is not an option but a must, as you can only find the quota of discipline in the boutique of correction. Smacking isn't the problem, but technically an abuse of it can become problematic. Like the popular saying goes, too much of everything is bad. For instance, if a person stays idle doing absolutely nothing, it has a huge effect on the person. What I'm driving at is smacking shouldn't be erased, but an excess of it is definitely wrong. In conclusion, it will be catastrophic to this generation and the one to come if we withhold correction from the educational system. Thank you. I hear Bombay express my thanks for interest in this topic, and I'm hereby standing against the motion which states that teachers should be allowed to smack not to kids. Who is a teacher? A teacher is one whose occupation is to instruct. What does it mean to smack? The Cambridge English Dictionary defines smacking as forcefully hitting someone with the flat surface of the hand, which produces a, sh a short sound, which is a form of punishment. Naughty, it means a disobedient or a badly behaved kid. This topic has been a subject of hot debate in different schools recently, but my business here is to convince you of the inappropriateness of smacking in this jet's age. Firstly, it is wrong and inappropriate. To discipline or smack a child through physical violence is clearly a violation of the most basic of human rights. Article 19 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Children declares that children and young ones have rights to physical and personal integrity. As well as being lawfully wrong, corporal punishment is morally wrong. There are plenty of other alternative methods to discipline a child other than beating up that child. For example, a child's opportunity of taking the blue. Since he loves him best, simply just to make him pay for the wrong being done. Nevertheless, physically harming the child is unnecessary and inappropriate. I want to ask my opponent this question. Would the conductor of corporal punishment love it if it were he or she being smacked? I think not. Secondly, many of the kids who misbehave in school have an unstable family background. Some of the kids have already been abused by their parents at home. Their misbehavior in school is a cry for help. The teacher is one of the few adults they have to, to run to for help and support. But if the teacher will hit them, they will mistrust them and be left with few or no one to run to for help. It can also lead to their deaths. An example is Sylvester Oromoni, the 12 years old boy of Dunway College, Lagos, who was bullied to death on the 28th of November, 2021. Maybe his teachers were hard on him and he wasn't bold enough to run to death to him. And he failed to go fight his battle by himself, which literally led to his death. Would you love to see a loved one suffer for no reason? Thirdly, it's a form of child abuse. Um, smacking on children affects them psychologically as well as physically. The 
it also sends a message to the society that violence is acceptable, which is the wrong message to be given out. The, the history of domestic violence has shown to us that couples were once victims of incessant smacking. We have laws that protect, protect adults from being assaulted by other adults, but people still believe that um, smacking is a form of discipline. That's there for not running. In conclusion, smacking is a dangerous practice because it affects kids psychologically, emotionally, socially, intellectually, and overall physically. The truth they say is bitter, but it has to be told. I believe with this conscious point of mind, I've been able to convince you beyond every reasonable doubt that teachers should not be allowed to smack the kids. Thank you. The Bob School's debate. At the end of the two rounds, we'll be able to pick out the best speaker. I will pick it out because of our boldness. And that's more the person than this Joweto. actually gave us a whole lot of um when I look at some of the statements that were made I said um, uh, should a not a child be spared or our generations be generation be spared. You know and our, our mama was asking which generation do I belong to? <laughs> Okay, we for the first school. The first school will come back after the break. My heart is panting.